Jacqueline Quinn talked with some pediatricians today about this new strain. Joins us now tonight from National Jewish. Jacqueline. And Karen, a lot of people have been talking about how potentially this new strain may be more contagious. Now, some researchers may believe that this could react differently among children, and that has many here in the community, the medical community, paying a close watch to what this does. At the ER in northern Colorado, doctors like Noah Kaufman have been studying the new strain. We know that there's been mutations to the spike protein, which is how this virus gets into the cells, you know. Most of his COVID patients are adults. I see a couple few COVID patients every day. He doesn't know if the new strain will send in younger patients, but he says medical staff are prepared. As we all know, in March, many kids were on break, on spring break, then they were sheltered in place, then there was summer. Dr. Hara Levy is the division head for pulmonology in pediatrics at National Jewish Health. She's worried for a couple of reasons. So we know that the transmission rate is higher and that you need and it does have a higher viral load. So the concern would be with the higher viral load that there could be worse symptoms. But researchers just don't know yet. I think it also speaks to the fact that the kids really need to be considered to be moved up in the line for the vaccination. Depending on the vaccines available, the age cutoff is either 16 or 18 years old. We uh, have uh, developed specialized COVID care clinics for pediatrics. We have a pediatric acute COVID care clinic. National Jewish is not aware of any patients with the new strain, but are standing by if it shows up. Dr. Levy adds taking steps to prevent transmission is important as ever. Uh, get in to see us if, you're get, if you feel like you're getting ill and quarantine and just do all the right things uh, until uh, you or your loved ones, uh, or at least the elderly, can get the vaccine. Now, Dr. Kaufman says because this reacts so differently in people, it is a good idea to be careful, especially around grandparents or people who are in the elderly population. Reporting in Denver, I'm Jacqueline Quinn, covering Colorado First. And coming up, we'll have-